Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kogish. I'm here with my good old friend Bruce B. And now we go back to 2012. And it, kind of a, an incidental run-in when I was in Colorado campaigning for Tisha Cassida, and he was doing work for 9-11 Truth with We Are Change Colorado. Now, he's been around for a long time and, and, and one of the people that I have an immense amount of respect for. So I, I invited him in our interview today to bring up something that, uh, that, that, that maybe, that at least our audience would appreciate, of course, but that he normally doesn't have a, a platform or a venue to talk about. And so I, I have a vague idea, but I really don't know what he's gonna talk about. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm honored to, to hear something because he says he's got something that's gonna surprise me and challenge me. So Bruce, you've had your head in some other spaces and, and, and this is one of the cool things about you know the, the, these kinds of conversations that that we share a, a deeper side of our personality. So I'm 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 excited about this. What, what, what's been on your mind, brother? This is a beautiful chance to uh, challenge myself and challenge you and challenge everyone watching. Because uh, when you when you say like talk about something maybe that you don't normally talk about or that you like wouldn't go there, I want to go there with a little challenge to all of us to as men. Let's challenge the men, I guess. Is it's, it's, it's a lesson learned about a book I learned, uh, The Taoist Secrets of Love, and it talks about cultivating male sexual energy to where we're not coming every single day or maybe not even every week, maybe taking a break from the normal destination of having sex to come and well, learn it. I'm, I'm, I'm not only triggered, I'm challenged already. Oh. I don't, I don't, I mean, if I don't, uh, if I don't get mine every day one way or another, I, I don't feel right. I, I, w w really? Mm -hmm. So I was in that way of thinking for many years and uh, I'm still like, I, I say I'm an MC, but I don't say I'm a master of ceremonies, I'm mastering ceremonies and I'm always making changes, MC. And you know, uh, we, I like to move the crowds. And so me, this is something that I've learned it has helped me be more powerful. So when, it, when I'm not just releasing every day, when I'm not just going for it, like, oh, whether it's with myself or whether it's with my partner, uh, I've learned that that is where my magic is, is when I've like, been able to like, cultivate for months at a time. That's some of my most powerful event planning, my most powerful freestyles, my most powerful conversations. My Plan most, sex my, like an event. My most powerful things that have happened like idea-wise has popped in you know, more recently in these years where I haven't been just like firing rounds everywhere, you know, so. Okay, well, I got, I got two challenges for you then out of that. I mean, first of all, like, you keep a woman happy like that? Yes. They love it. Are you kidding me? Uh, women out there, I mean, could you imagine a man who's going to make love with you and not just, like, clench up now? There's times where I still do because it, things happen. <laughs> now. But the thing is, is, like, to, to, to let your woman know that, that, that you're actually cultivating this energy and that you're not looking to go there, that that's not your goal, that, that you're there actually to please her. Okay, so hold on, you're she talking about being pleased at a higher level. You're talking about inner, you're still having intercourse, you're just not having an orgasm. Yes, not releasing. You can even have an orgasm without ejaculating. I'm not mastered there, but I'm getting there. And it is really important to be able to have sex without coming. It's you know, I like, oh, The other thing is I'm, I'm so, I guess I'm so caught up in the paradigm, paradigm of, of cis hetero normalcy, uh, how does it end? If, you, if, if the man doesn't orgasm, how does it end? I mean, normally she's just like, uh, maybe, mm, how do I say this? She's pleased and she's like, I'm good. Like she's like, I am good. Like you, you reach a level of uh, so much, uh, the give and the receive is so beautiful. And, and so for a woman to be able to fully receive that and then not necessarily have to like give back because she's she's just giving you a lot of energy and so I, there's something there's something more to all this and I just wanted to say like it's about the step of procreation it's about like using the power of intention and so like conscious coming almost as a term I've, I've never said any of this publicly I've never put any of this online I've never made a Facebook about the Facebook post about this although I've been thinking about saying this kind of stuff publicly since 2014 and so I just wanted to say we did an event won the event where we talked about switching from fear to love switching from problem to solution this was back in Colorado where a Arise is held every year at Sunrise Ranch. And this was a huge event for our community. And uh, I just want to say, like, that event helped cultivate our community at a really high level. Like, somebody at that event said, you know, every person I went to that event with, I became family with. And so that was like, where, I think that was the very first tour of your Freedom Book started in Colorado. And since then, there's been a whole lot of stuff that happened. Uh, Polish ambassador is a DJ. He does these permaculture action days where in, he goes and sells out a theater, and then they do an action where they build a garden the next Hold day. Hold on, now you're changing the subject. I want to go back to this. Leading it in. Hold on. In 2014, I spoke at one of Polish. Uh, back to the sex. Back to the on, sex. Hold on, hold on. 2014, I spoke at Polish Ambassador's uh, first permaculture action day. 
and you brought your first tour, 2014, through Colorado. Now, Colorado's a huge spot. And I just wanted to say, this year we had an action day on the first of the year where instead of all the artists who just performed in Boulder and, and Denver where a bunch of people headlined New Year's Eve, instead of just sleeping in on the first, Polish Ambassador, Tubby Love, a bunch of other people did an event where I emceed it. It was called the Community Activation. And I talked about it this briefly. I said, hey, everybody, please be procreators and use that power of intention when you're going to make love. If you want to make a child, use that with an intention. And then that, and let's create those children super intentionally and not just la, 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 and rounds. Like, and so I just wanted to bring this, when you asked me something that maybe we, we, we wouldn't hear about, I wanted to bring this to the table because I think if men, if we learn to balance that energy and balance our needs and our desires a little bit more, I think we'll have more power because sometimes, you know, you come and what do you want to do? You sleep. And I so, want to cuddle. And yeah, and cuddle. No, no, I'm serious. I'm a cuddler. Me too. Me too, but I'm a sleep. I'm a sleeper. And so I'm just saying like... There, there if, is the release, the conclusion, the, the feel of, of completion from that, right? Mm, yeah, absolutely. So I'm just, I'm just encouraging everybody to, to, to go, off the, go off the path of your normal sexuality of like, oh, this is how I have sex and I have to have sex to come every single time. Maybe just change it up a little bit and see if, like, like with weed, if you smoke weed every single day... It's not the same medicine, and so maybe take off a little break and see what, it, see what it does. Yeah, reset your endocannabinoid system. Do that. And it's the same way with our sexuality. So I just, I encourage you to try something new, and if you're like, fuck that, then do something for yourself that's going to better yourself in a different way, and change your diet up, or change your, go outside a little more, whatever it is. But I encourage, you know, to not think that, oh, I'm right, and every, the rest of my life, I'm going to do this exact thing. Uh, maybe evolve yourself a little bit year to year day to day, you know, whatever. Well, I'm, I'm really excited about the idea of, in, of challenging men in, in our movement to become masters of their self in every way. Like we talk about all the other areas of self-improvement related to living better, more conscientious lives, more in line with our values as voluntarists. But we, we generally leave out sex and certainly male sexuality in this regard or optimization of male sexuality. It, it is, there is a certain t taboo element to that. So I, I, want, I want to ask one last sort of challenge question, then one general advice question. The first about like, you say it's, it's better if you, if you save your orgasm, if it builds up, if you do like once a month or once a week. Okay, so you have, and it, this is me being the math nerd here, trying to refute you with, with statistics and shit. If, if you can, if, if your orgasm on a regular day, your orgasm every day, that's a, a value of one. Is, is your orgasm on day 30 really like a value of 30 times? Is it that, is it that many times better? Is it really, like, can you really tell, you know, a dude with a lot of sexual energy that, that it's going to be that much better, that much more significant, that it's worth sacrificing those 30 ones for one, put a number on it? It's worth it for me. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's worth it for me. I don't know if it would be mathematically like equal in my opinion, because yeah, there's days if I'm going to make love 30 days in a row, I don't think that's going to match that one day that I wait. But that's the thing is it's about how we're using it. So it's like, if I'm gonna make love for 30 days in a row, those days, if I'm not coming, are going to be great. And if I decide that 30th day to consciously release my energy, that's a beautiful thing. Now, I'm not looking to build any children right now in this life, but at some point I am. And so I just encourage that everybody, uh, you know, be aware of, of our energy. And, and that's the, the, with intention. Just be aware of your intentions with your thoughts, your words, your actions. These are creating the future. And we're creating a reality which I hope to believe a peaceful reality and, and a reality where we all can all work together. If we have too many, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll let you give the big picture conclusion. But I want I want before you do that, uh, I, I want to give get, get some nuts and bolts out of you. All right. Oh yeah. That, All right. Is that a bad analogy here? No, this is a deep nuts interview. and bolts. Yeah. Nuts and bolts. But Go ahead. no, I, I, I mean, for someone who's watching this, I want I want to give them then, and and I want for myself. Like I, I'm not going to read the book because you said read the book. I mean, what, tell me the book name again. Uh, the Taoist Secrets of Love. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that, I mean, that, uh, definitely strong recommendation. You know, and and it, but but I, I, before I jump into a book. Yeah. You know, it's, that's a commitment. I, I want to see some. I want to see some results. So I want to watch you in action. I'm just kidding. No, Ooh. but I want. <laughs> I want. I want. I want. Can you give me a simple exercise? Like, what's the first step? Is it simply like, hey, have sex like you normally would, just don't come, and try that for a week and and see what happens? Mm -hmm. Or what, can you give? Can you give the young men in our audience a simple exercise and enough background to execute that? I mean, there's so many pieces. There's exercises in there where you're clenching up your, your, your sacrum, and, and then there's exercises in there. Uh, I think breathing, taking a second to breathe, and while you're making love, uniting your breath with your lover. I think beginning to 
sort how to have an energy flow. They talk about that in the, in the book as well. But, but begin to like really breathe and be intentional with every breath, every motion, every thought. Uh, I think that is where I would give uh, okay, so, my so the, the, the orgasmless sex and I, uh, starting with more breath consciousness and, and love making all yes. for that. But if I said, all right, Bruce, I'm sold. I'm going to go home and try to have sex without orgasming tonight. Do I need to know anything else? Uh, be be prepared to uh, don't think you're invincible. And I would, uh, you know, part of me is like, I don't like condoms at all. I don't want to tell you what to do and what not to do. But what I'm saying is like, be very careful because here's one thing that even if you begin to do this for a long time and you're like, oh, I'm good. And then you're you're using this practice. You're very dangerous. So I just I am very uh, just be aware of your even if you think you're a master of this, you could still fail and then you have a child. So let's let's be very aware of every action. And that's why I like to make sure that I let people know as we're talking about this that I save my sexual energy as like a very, very sacred thing where just because someone's beautiful, which I was just in Hawaii and I've experienced many beautiful people in my last weeks, uh, but to not just be enthralled by just beauty, but to be enthralled by that inner beauty and, and, and have them turn you on with their words or their, you know, whatever they're doing in the world and be like, wow, I love you, not just the you that's out here, but the full you. And I think if we really, as uh, uh, the men out there listening and the women out there listening, is, is consciousness, be conscious with the people you give your energy to and that you receive energy to uh, from. And uh, yeah, just it, with, with that, like the actual tip of like going home and making love with somebody and how do you not, not just like all of a sudden come, just speak your intention of like, hey, this time I'm, I'm not looking to make that the finish line. And then, and then by speaking that, your partner, your woman, or I guess maybe your man too, whatever you're into, right? maybe will then be able to fully, fully receive that love that you're giving them in a way where they don't feel like they're uh, obligated to return it in that moment to, to have some sort of even you know, equation. No, this equation sometimes can be all focused on that one person. And uh, so I encourage that. And this has been really fun to be put on the spot. And, and uh, you know, there's a, there's a whole lot. You, you know, normally I might talk about other stuff, but this is really way off the beaten path, yeah, and uh, I've only even said one thing about procreation ever on a microphone, and all the and and seeing at events I've done, and I haven't posted about it at all. So this has been really, uh, it's been simmering in here, you know. And I uh, I got a lot of energy, my friends. I'm I'm really happy to share it. So well, I I want to just I mean, I'm I'm sorry, but like I'm obviously not ready for all of this in in preparation. I, I have you know there's a lot of things that this yeah. is, is bringing up for me, and and one of them is. That part of the mentality, I think this is sort of uh, very traditional, mainstream, again, you know, expectations for sex. Like, I don't feel comfortable uh, coming until my partner has come. Like, I've always felt that way. That's like, just something that, that I feel like a, a responsibility as yeah. a man, as a giver, as a pleaser. Yeah. I was wanting to do that. But it still has this framework of, well, you get to come, then I get to come. And, and if maybe, maybe I'll make you come twice, and then, and then it'll be my turn. And then I'll really earn it, you know. It, yeah. Like, Super logical and mathematic and thought out and analytical, like, okay, then we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this. But sometimes just dive into the mystery of like, I'm just gonna please you, or you're just gonna please me, or let's just both be living and at all, and it's just li be loving and giving, and without expectation or framework, or without obligation. without thinking of it as an exchange yeah. that's not even really real. Yeah, yeah. Because we all bring those expectations into our romantic relationships without even examining them. So I think this is awesome. I hope this is a start of something. You know, maybe it's something he's gonna talk about more on Steam It. I mean, he could hey. he could be that guy in the freedom movement. Hey. There's look, definitely look. there's definitely a niche here. Look, this is the thing. I've sued the Federal Reserve. You know, people don't even know that. I never really went public. I talked to Gary Franchi one time online about it. Uh, I sued the city and county in Denver for a 9-11 case where I questioned Joe Lieberman about building number seven and the $2.3 trillion that went missing. Uh, you know, I've evolved a lot of my activism. I, uh, you know, I've, I've changed up a lot of my ways and, and moved to the heart space of where are we going to get our message out to the people who don't know? It, rather than just preaching to the choir, and I think we've talked about this for years, is like, where are we making those breakthroughs? And uh, I just want everybody to know that, like, really focus on what your puzzle piece is and, like, bring your message. And, like, I told Adam, I was like, Adam, you've got fucking balls to do your mission where you're going to really go run for president to dissolve government. Like, whoa, uh, yeah, that's an amazing. And so by him doing his mission, he's inspired me to do my mission, and I've kind of stepped away from the beaten path of, like, trying to... I have videos on my computer that I haven't even put out with amazing people like you in 2014 at United We Stand. I got a 20 minute interview that I haven't even put up. Cause I have, I'm just a, like, I have nice. a pile of hard drives. Yeah. It's <laughs> so it's, it's the love and I just want everybody to uh, make sure, just do what you do because you are a very important piece to this movement and so take little bits and pieces and then bring us your bits and pieces and let's, let's talk about it on Steam it rather than Facebook. Uh, 
Bruce B on Steam It. That's at Bruce B. Anything else you need to let people know to find you? I mean, uh, check me out on YouTube if you want to see some of those old videos. You want to see the Fed case. You want to see the you know, Joe Lieberman confrontation. You want to see some live music. Uh, shout out to all the Colorado homies that are doing like live music with the message. Elias Clay, Freedom Movement, all those folks. But uh, yeah, Bruce, we are Change on YouTube. We are Change Colorado is uh, the main group. If you're ever coming through Colorado, uh, look us up and come see what we're up to. There's a monthly open mic that's going on. But right now, I let go of my lease at the Liberty Lodge and I am jumping into the travels. So actually hit me up and bring me to wherever you're at because I'm going to be speaking all over the world this year. I've already emceed at three festivals. I'm, I'm going to be emceeing tonight at the con uh, conferences uh, at the at the hip hop show. And so yeah, it's just going to be beautiful. So let's keep let's keep doing it. Awesome. We're do Thank you so much, brother. Much love. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.